Hello, my name's Stuart Wyeth from SW Homes and welcome to our fourth property in order shot. This is an old private shop we're going to turn into six studio flats and that we're going to rent out uh, on a long-term basis. Let me show you around. So we've actually entered the building through uh, our first flat. So um, the door that comes in is actually uh, to the right-hand side behind the camera uh, where the new staircase is going to come up. And in here will become a 20 square metre studio flat with its own kitchenette. And in here will become its own ensuite shower. So the plans on this building is to create two studio flats on the ground floor with a shared kitchen. And then we've got three more buildings, uh, three more flats on the first floor and then a further flat up in the, uh, in the top floor. Um, these flats are, everyone has their own kitchenette. This becomes a, a gallery kitchen, which is plenty of space for double fridges, hobs, ovens. And there's gonna be some access through here into the outbuilding at the rear, which will be where the bins and the bikes are kept. So yeah, come through here. Okay, so this is the rear of the building and this becomes our second, build, uh, second flat on the ground floor. Really disgusting and dingy, but this is the perfect type of building we like to purchase. Um, we're going to take this chimney out, so this chimney becomes out, comes out all the way up through the building and then in its position we're going to put another ensuite shower room and then windows are going to go in the back area. The section where the camera is is where the bin store and the refuge is going to be. So we're going to literally knock all this area out, replace it with a window, get lots of natural light in here and there'll be a doorway from the kitchen into the bike and bin store and this staircase is all coming out um, and we'll go upstairs. So history of this building has been found back to 1860 and the council have listed it way back then and it's sort of sandwiched between a few buildings. So there's a building here at the rear which is not part of our deal and there's a party wall with the neighbour here. So this room becomes uh, the third flat that we're going to build. This is the chimney on the ground floor which we're going to remove and we're going to keep the windows, make them slightly bigger and create a nice big bedroom in here with its own ensuite. And then this one becomes the kitchenette of the second bedroom on this floor here at the rear. So this corridor remains the same. So we've got one door entrance into the rear flat and we've got another door here into the second flat of the three on this floor. And in here we've got a doorway being created here into a new ensuite. We've got a nice big window for natural light. And then in this area here, this little alcove, this wall is all coming out and we're gonna put a kitchen which is built inside that area just to utilize this middle bathroom space as best as possible. So the way we're working with the building is we're trying to keep the structure and integrity of the building to keep the cost down as much as possible. So this staircase that goes from the first floor to the second floor, we're going to reposition that over the new staircase from the ground to first floor using the same area, square footage of the building. And then what we're going to do is use the space in between these two bedrooms to create the two really good size on the suites. So it just means we've got to put some small intervals through and yeah, minimum disruption really. Beautiful. Come through here. This is the front flat. So this studio flat is a really nice one. It's got fantastic views of the park. We're actually going to potentially call the building uh, Park View House, just because it looks, sounds a little bit better than the private shop. Stay at flat B, the private shop doesn't have the same ring to it. So we're going to make the uh, put new windows everywhere. We're going to sort the front out, make it look really nice, keeping some of the old features. Okay. Take this chimney stack out, so this becomes slightly wider, and then the doorway into this ensuite will be somewhere around here. And like we said earlier, each one will have their own little kitchenette, so they've got their own fridge, their own microwave, and their own sink. So this is the dorm at the rear that we're going to, we've had a pre-application, we're going in for planning permission now to extend, to go full width. The reason for that is we want to put an ensuite here for the top floor flat, so it's a really good size thing, it's about 24 square metres. And then the other half here we're going to use as our utility room, so we're going to have solar panels on the building, we're going to have air source heat pumps, and um, we're going to have batteries on here, and we're going to have the washer, dryer, everything upstairs, so it's, it's not using space on the ground floor, and um, it's just a really good way of using this area to, to maximise the living rooms downstairs. And this is our sixth and final flat. So um, this one is going to be the biggest one, probably about 24 square meters. Okay. It's got a little dorm on the front, which we're going to redo the window and, and, and make maximum views of the park. We're going to take the chimney out to create extra width. We are going to lose this space here for where the stairs are coming up. So there'll be a nice new Velux for natural light. And then there'll be two doors, one door here into the bedroom and another door here into the utility room, which will be used by all, all the um, people who, who live here. This area here, we're going to take everything back to, to tile, back to brickwork, and we're going to put about 12 solar panels on here, uh, on the building, and we're trying to um, get two five kilowatt batteries as well, which are going to make a, a big difference for the overall electricity consumption of this building. As we want to hold it long term, we're just trying to bring our, our ongoing costs down as, as much as possible. So um, this is the view of the park. We'll make a nice little chill out area here, a little TV, probably a little sofa, and then the bed will come here, that chimney's coming out, and then there'll be a little kitchenette into their ensuite, which is going to be into that full-width dormer.
Okay, so at the rear of the property now, um, we don't any, have any access to this area, but we have an easement, so we can run, we can walk across it, we can't put any car parking here, and it's around the back of a Chinese restaurant, which has had some challenges with refinancing. We've already lined up three exit lenders for us to refinance at a 60% loan to value at the rear. Um, this little single story extension at the back, we're gonna knock out, and we're gonna create extra bin storage and bike storage, and put a little ramp in here for people to get the bins in and out quite easily. And at the back, it's never a good sign when you've got weeds and so on growing out the side of the building. We're going to change all the windows, do a four-width dormer and re-render the rack to make it look a lot more attractive. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of our commercial to six bedroom HMO conversion. And we're going to do a four part video series on this. So we're going to do the demolition. We're going to show you the construction process and show you the final result. If you're interested in getting involved um, or want to know a bit more about SW Homes, then please get in contact via our website or uh, by Instagram, which is SW Homes Limited LTD. Speak to you in the next video.